Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to Prince Mason. Since I put out my Retouch and Essentials pack, I haven't actually done an update for it, and that's because it works perfectly. By the way, if you do not have my Retouch and Essentials pack, you should definitely get it. 14 amazing actions to help you retouch better and faster, right? But over a period of time, I've been thinking, is there a way that I can actually improve my retouch and have my um, frequency separation look a lot more like micro dodge and burn? Because if you know micro dodge and burn, you know it's like really time consuming. And if you have to retouch a lot of work, you know, um, doing it with micro dodge and burn can be like really tasking. So I, I, I was just trying to um, figure out like a, a different way. And that is what I have today. So this is the median, by the way, this action is already updated inside my retouching essentials pack so if you have bought my retouching essentials pack all you have to do is go back and download it right now and you would be able to like have the action in there um just click on the action install it and, and that's it um to install your action all you have to do is go up here and go to load actions and load it from somewhere on your pc that's that's basically all you you need right now um why do i think this um median frequency separation um why do i think it works really well um first things first you know you have your images looking very um i would say very natural right okay for example this image i have here um if i had retouched this with uh, micro dodge marine this is an example of how smooth it would look um i can always just go in and show you guys what it will look like if i just reduce the opacity and have it look a, a lot more natural you know um this is what this image will look like so let me show you guys the before real quick this is the before and this is the after yes you know i still use the mixer brush tool but like i said the thing i love about this is how natural the skin looks when you use the the median it just looks really nice and natural when you use the median frequency separation and that's why i absolutely love this so how does it work um i'm going to turn that layer off and i'm going to run this so now just going to run this when you run it it would ask you for the radius that you want to use when i am working on like a headshot like this that is extremely sharp it will shot with the high resolution camera i typically use between 25 to 30 for my radius um if you are working on like uh i'll say headshot where you know it's from like the head all the way down to the chest or you know like a medium shot then take typically i do between 12 20. um if you are working on like a full body portrait where you don't have a lot of skin then you're probably going to do between three to like seven or eight depending on your radius but how you'd know that you actually have your radius right is when you click on okay you pick your radius click on okay and right now um it's just going to load what's going to do right now is it's going to bring the apply layers um apply image i mean the screen if you can see your textures as much as this then that's good by the way if you install the action and you do not see um your scale and your offset just change it to two for your skill offset 128 and after that it's just going to stay like that and you can use it all the time so now what i'm going to do is click okay as you can see i can see my textures clearly what i'm going to do is click okay and i have my frequency separation action created right okay great so what i'm going to do is pick my mixer brush tool and i can blend out the skin now obviously for this other one that i did up here i have removed like a lot of the blemishes and all that and um, i'm not going to go over removing the blemishes right now but i just wanted to run the action so you guys can see so by the time you run the action is definitely going to look like this so you have your high texture here um, as you can see it's high texture and this is your work layer then you have your low color and this is your work layer so this is where you work with your mixer brush tool and up here is where you work with your um, clone stamp tool or if you prefer to use your healing brush tool you can use any of that right okay so let's say i have removed the whole texture but what i'm going to do right now is just turn off this layer duplicate this layer down here and what i'm going to do is just clip it down okay great so let's say i've worked on my texture layer everything is good you guys know textures very easy to remove with your clone stamp tool and next thing i'll do is just blend out this layer all i have to do is pick my mixer brush tool and then what i'll do is oh, sorry i don't know why my mixer brush tool does that all the time now paints my foreground color first um so all i have to do now is just go over this image real quick um obviously take your time do not be in a hurry like i am right now i'm just trying to show you guys how easy it is and um with how fast I'm doing it, as you can see, I'm still getting really, really nice and decent results. So I'm going to just take this out, take this out, just 
you know, just mess around with this image. Um, maybe zoom out a little bit so I can see some more and always use like a, a big brush. Okay, great. So I'm going to continue doing my blending. Like I said, obviously take your time with your blending. Um, one thing I'm doing right now is going between a small brush and a big brush. Like I always move around with my brushes till I find um, a size that works for a particular area. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just painting. Obviously, there's a technique to this. So it's not like I'm just moving around with the brush and constantly just going over the image. There is definitely a technique to this and that's something that you have to learn and um, practice brings about perfection. Okay, great. So um, I've done this for probably under a minute now. And um, in under a minute, let me show you what this looks like. So under a minute, this is our before and this is our after. So in under a minute, this are before, this are after. Yes, you know, I've been able to like blend out um, a lot of the images that do not look um, even, a lot of the transitions that do not look even. So these are before, these are after, these are before, this is are after. And this was done in like a minute or two minutes. So yeah, that is definitely the median frequency separation action. I absolutely love it. Like I said, your radius really depends on the type of image that you're working on and uh, the um, the resolution of the image that you're working on. You know, is it a headshot? Is it a medium shot? You know, is it a full body shot? You know, it just depends on what you're working on. Um, you can come in, just blend this out there. And, you know, at the end of the day, you don't have to do the median. Immediately, you can do a little bit of micro and burn before you get into the median. But just want to show you guys real quick how you can get your images looking really good in a few minutes. And now we have our image looking good, obviously, with the one I did at first. I took my time a lot more. And that's one thing I advise you to do when you're retouching, especially when you're just starting and you're still learning how to understand this tool so now i'm going to zoom out so you guys can see it and this might be for this my after i mean it's not a perfect job but you know this one looks a lot better this one i did before but yeah you guys get it before after sorry <laughs> what am i doing this before and this the after before and after and if you zoom in it doesn't look bad it doesn't look like you know the frequency separation that um you do with like the gaussian blue i mean there's still space for that when you are retouching it just depends on the kind of look they are going for but i tend to um find out that this actually looks uh, very natural and a lot of people that i retouched um for with this technique absolutely love how this image or how their images um turn out so yeah that is the frequency separation median action it is available in my retouching essentials pack i'm going to be updating the pack um constantly over the next few months so we can add some other things into it like uh, maybe like a background cleanup um action and and some other things you know i just figure out different things um that i use on the daily that can be added to the retouching essentials pack just to add to it um yeah so anyways um I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you haven't downloaded my retouching essentials pack if you haven't purchased it definitely go purchase it link is in the description below i'm also going to make a, a few videos um detailing a few other things in my retouching essentials pack that i feel like people are struggling to use but i'll show you guys how it works but anyways thank you so much for watching today's video and um, i'll see you guys in the next one like I said, if you have bought my Retouching Essentials pack, all you have to do is go back, log in, and re-download it, and you get the media and action in there. If you haven't, then definitely check it out because we'll help you retouch better and retouch faster. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have an amazing day, guys. Peace out.